I'm um, just here with, with Bruno Gimbel and uh, just wanted to ask him a couple questions. We, we can talk lots about why we fly the helicopter, why we love the helicopter. We want to ask him, why did you design the Cabri? Why did you design it the way it is? What inspires you about the Cabri helicopter? Yeah. You know, um, the Cabri uh, started uh, long ago. I was a young engineer with Airbus and I was passionate about uh, building airplanes and building uh, aircraft. Uh, I was not much passionate about flying, though I was a pilot, but I only flew the airplane that I built before. And I found that uh, the, um, the helicopter technology was very exciting. It was changing very quickly. And uh, Eurocopter at this time was uh, at the very uh, cutting edge, leading edge of uh, technology for rotor systems and for transmission. And they, they, are still, they, they still are, but it was very, very new at this moment. I'm speaking of 25, 30 years ago. <laughs> and it became obvious to me that there was something very, um, very interesting to do about implementing the new technology, uh, typically elastomerics, uh, semi-articulated rotors, uh, composite blades, shrouded tail rotors, composite structure, crash roughiness, and uh, all these new technologies for big helicopters were obviously extremely uh, awaited for, uh, for two-seat and trainer helicopters where um, when uh, the very quick development of two-seaters uh, was everywhere in the world. So I started to meet uh, first operators of light two-seaters and I started to, to understand that there was a big demand for uh, better maneuverability, better safety and obviously to me, as a development engineer with Eurocopter, uh, it was, the answer was uh, elastomerics, composites, uh, damage tolerance, and this is when the Cabri started. So, initially, I had no real industrial plan in my head. It was just an engineering, uh, an engineering challenge to show off new technologies I was uh, learning and I was uh, contributing to develop uh, on personal two-seat helicopter. Very quickly it uh, turns uh, that uh, training was the main issue because a uh, light helicopter is particularly meant for training. I remember that Robinson, Frank Robinson was uh, always emphasizing that the 22 was not designed initially as a trainer and it was only used as a trainer initially. And so I wanted to, to do different. Of course, Robinson was 20 years ahead of, of me, uh, but uh, this evidence was uh, very strong that a two-seat helicopter will be used as a trainer. So we set very initially the goal for training market. So the first goal was better rotor system because people wanted to train and you need a very strong rotor system to train for auto rotation, for maneuvers, for turbulence, for just to be more, um, more um, forgiving for the student. And then um, damage tolerance also came uh, because uh, 25 years ago, damage tolerance was the big issue for big helicopters. And it still is. Uh, damage tolerance is still a priority for big helicopters. And there is a lot to do there. And what about the, the attention to detail that we see in the Cabri? Because everything you look at is, is attention to detail. Little things that make the helicopter what it is, what makes it so amazing today. Is that is that your inspiration? Is that is that uh, your engineering passion? I, I would say that uh, it's the it's the meeting of uh, 
my engineer uh, mind. I'm not a pilot. I'm a pilot because I, I built airplanes and I built helicopter. I became a helicopter pilot after I built the first Cabri. And so I have an engineer's mind, yeah. definitely. And, but uh, very early in the Cabri program, we met very passionate pilots. And it's been a very, very good experience to me to meet passionate pilots. And uh, then um, it's, it's obvious that uh, there are some, uh, some very strong demands and some, uh, some focus on details from pilots. Mm -hmm. So we had some very good issues and some much uh, less good issues. <laughs> uh, at one moment, uh, looking and listening to pilots, I decided that making a moving map part of a helicopter was cool. And then I spent a lot of energy developing our own moving map design that would re really look good. And it did look very good, but we introduced it three months before Apple introduced the iPad. Okay. So it was the biggest failure ever <laughs> because everybody moved to the iPad yeah. and we, we sold three of them and everybody got rid of it uh, in favor of the iPad. So this was not a good development, but... But then um, we developed the iPad yes. that is so beautiful. So in, in other <laughs> cases, we had a very much better success. Um, say, I, one day I found that a baggage compartment was important. So yeah. we designed the baggage compartment with a lot of care, with a user in mind. It's such a very small design, sm small item. But um, this is something that uh, makes the cabri different. You can take uh, an airline size suitcase and put it in. Um, so also some details like uh, uh, door lock, iPad support. We designed it to just to be cool for the, for a pilot. Yeah. Because of course the main rotor and the transmission is everything. But uh, the small details are just <laughs> just something more. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time.